Okay, so new year, new apartment. I thought it was time to show you my 2022 desk setup. All right, so here's kind of a look at the whole setup. You know, it is very, you know, minimalistic and I kind of only, you know, have things that I necessarily need. Um, so the desk we're gonna start off with um, is a standing desk that I got off of Amazon. I don't remember the exact, you know, name of the brand, um, but this, you know, is 55 inches long. Um, so I kind of got the, you know, biggest one they had so it can actually hold everything and, you know, it wouldn't be, you know, feel too small and cramped. Um, but it is pretty simple. Um, so it has this kind of this little, you know, control thing here. I mean, like a lot of standing desks have, you know, like the knob that you kind of manually have to crank. Um, but this one is kind of, you know, just programmable. So, you know, you got these four buttons here with kind of programmable heights you can set. So this first one here, if I push that, um, that's going to show up at 70. So that is kind of the sitting, you know, desk height. And then if we go along to the second one here and just press that and then let go, as you can see, the number is going to start going up. And then if we kind of come back a little bit, as you can see, the desk is going to start to move up as well. And then it is pretty quick. So this is kind of the whole standing height. As you can see there, it is uh, 99. So that's just kind of the standing height that I use on this when I am standing. Um, because, you know, after, you know, editing for hours and hours on end, it is kind of, you know, gets, you know, hard to sit. Um, all the time, so kind of having a nice break between, you know, sitting and standing is, you know, kind of nice. And then when the desk is kind of, you know, standing up full, it really kind of shows off my horrible cable management. Um, but, you know, that will be a different thing that we can move on to later. Um, but, you know, the surface of the desk is kind of just this like, a nice dark wood. Um, I got this because it just kind of matches, you know, other things that I have in the room. So I kind of like this nice, you know, dark surface, kind of adds a kind of cool tone to it. Um, but then moving on to, you know, the actual computer stuff, um, right here we got my M1 Mac Mini. Um, so this is still the same from last time. You know, this is kind of my main, you know, workforce, you know, where I do all my editing, where, you know, my photos and videos. So this thing, you know, perfectly is able to keep up with me, which I really like. You know, I don't really have any problems with it so far. The only thing that is annoying is, you know, the kind of lack of ports and then, you know, everything being on the back. So I do have to keep this thing, you know, turned around. And, you know, just facing me the whole time so it kind of doesn't look the best. I do have you know, cables running everywhere, but I kind of, you know, just have to deal with that. And then, you know, same monitor again. We got my 27-inch Dell monitor here. Um, you know, I still really like this monitor. You know, no complaints about it. You know, it's nice and big so I can see, you know, everything that's going on. And I don't have to, you know, <laughs> kind of strain my eyes trying to see, you know, the small details. So it's very nice just kind of having, you know, just a big monitor. And then kind of something new is this little second monitor here. So this is just a very old, you know, Dell monitor that um, we've had for a while in my family. Um, I think this actually used to be plugged into like just an old Dell computer back probably for a long time ago. So we kind of just had this laying around. So I thought, you know, why not just grab it? Um, mainly, you know, this thing just has my Spotify open or um, you know, just like, you know, windows and stuff like that. That, you know, I quickly need to access while, you know, not having to get rid of them, you know, on the main one. So... Um, not much used to it, but it is just, you know, nice having two monitors. And then the monitors themselves are kind of just propped up on these little stands here. So I have two of them. Um, I got these off of Amazon as well. Um, you know, they do have a little place where you can put a phone in it, but I don't really put my phone in there. So that's kind of useless. But, you know, there's kind of like three layers to them if you want to count the top of them. Um, but, you know, it's just nice to kind of organize stuff. And then also, you know, helps raise them up. So when I am sitting or standing, I don't have to like slouch my shoulders or neck. So I'm kind of just, you know, always looking up, you know, the whole time without having to, you know, strain anything. So that's kind of nice as well when, you know, I, again, you know, I am you know, editing for hours on end. And then we got my keyboard <laughs> again, just the, you know, wireless Apple one. And then on top of a piece of cardboard, um, so, you know, it doesn't, my wrist isn't, you know, as strained as it was. So it's popped up a little bit, you know, same as last time, you know, pretty simple and basic. And, you know, the mouse too, just, you know, the Bluetooth and Samia mouse on a little Comcast mouse pad. So I don't really see a need to upgrade these two things. You know, they were perfectly fine. It's nice having a Bluetooth because, you know, don't have enough ports, you know, for them to not be Bluetooth, but, you know, they're pretty simple and, you know, I don't really see need to kind of upgrade these, you know, anytime soon. So it's just nice keeping it, you know, very simple on that end. And then next to it right here, I just have a little squish, you know, basketball here, kind of just, you know, work out my hands if they're getting stiff and, you know, save me from carpal tunnel because, 
I would not be surprised if I do develop it in my lifetime. So, yep, that's right there. And then we do also have my scanner. So I now have my scanner on my desk. Um, before, I used to just scan stuff um, into my laptop. So, you know, now being able to scan it into, you know, this computer makes it simple instead of having, you know, transfer the files from my laptop to this. So that just makes it a little bit easier. And, you know, it's just nice having it, you know, right on top of my desk here. So I can easily scan stuff here when, you know, while I'm doing other stuff at the same time, which is nice. And then I just have my Soul Republic headphones um, on top of it. You know, these things I'm always wearing, you know, for, for you know, editing videos or just listening to music while I am editing. So they're kind of always just, you know, plugged in to the back there. So there's not really reason to kind of have them anywhere else. So I would just kind of have them resting here when I'm not, you know, scanning. And then behind it, I just have some, you know, film here that I do need to scan and kind of archive. Kind of just left it there as a reminder that I need to do it still. Um, and then kind of moving over here, just have a little poker chip um, here just to kind of play around with, um, you know, when I am waiting for, you know, something to render or, you know, upload. So, you know, just kind of play around with it when I'm bored. And then we just have a little lens cloth here to kind of clean, you know, either my lens glasses or like, you know, my camera lens, just stuff like that. Um, and then moving on here, we, you know, this is a new thing. Um, this is the Samsung T7 hard drive. So this is a new hard drive that I got. Um, I got it because it is actually not hard drive, it's an SD, SSD. Um, so I got this because it is super fast and it was also on sale at Best Buy. So I got it for like $70 off, I think. So I got a pretty good deal on it. Um, you know, it was for the holidays as well, but yeah, this is kind of the main hard drive that I use because it is just so, you know, small and portable. So you can see I put Velcro on the bottom, so I just Velcro this to the back of my laptop when I use, am using it there. But then other than that, you know, kind of just stays rested under here. But, you know, this thing is so fast, you know, I keep my catalog on this and kind of all the, you know, current editing that I'm doing is on this thing. Um, and it's just so fast and simple. Um, this thing is only two terabytes, so it's not a lot and I do you know would prefer a five terabyte but they don't make it in five terabyte so that's kind of you know all what I'm currently editing and then kind of the you know the older stuff but still you know somewhat recent stuff I then you know move to you know my two lacy you know five terabytes hard drives here when I am done doing that um so yeah we just have two of them um this is kind of the you know more recent one um, and this one here is more of an older one as well. So between, you know, these three things, that's, you know, 12 terabytes of stuff. So kind of just nice having that, you know, handy at all the time. Um, and then, you know, there's just different cords from, so this is a USB-C one to USB-C. These are both USB-C to USB-C. And then this one is a USB-C to USB. So it kind of helps me distinguify, you know, the different ones. And also just because as well, you know, I only have so many ports on this thing. They can't all be USB-C. Um, but yeah, that's kind of my hard drives, um, you know, just keeping them, you know, on handy and, you know, making sure, you know, I back up, um, cause I do, you know, need to be better at file managing sometimes. So it's just nice to keep them up here. And then kind of last thing on this side of the, uh, kind of, of these things is just a little box of Altoids here. Um, don't really know why I keep these, not really any specific reason. Um, I just keep these here because, you know, why not? It's not like I really have people over here and kind of need to pop them in or anything, but I just thought, you know, why not keep them there? And then moving on to the side here, we just kind of have, you know, a pen and pencil. For when, you know, I do need to write stuff down, so it's just nice, to, you know, having those quick and out. And then over here, we do have a bunch of sticky notes. Um, these are just, you know, to write stuff down quickly. Um, most of the time, it's like my grocery list, stuff like that. So I just, you know, keep it up top so I can easily find it. And then just have, you know, some uh, cards right here. Um, just, you know, things that I'm currently, you know, have stuff on that I need to import. So just kind of have them there for now. Um, and then kind of going under here, uh, we have a knife here. So this is a joker knife. Um, you know, it's a nice big knife. I am kind of just have this here if I need to open something or stuff like that. Um, it's very cold right now. So that's interesting. Uh, but, yeah, but I just keep this, you know, in case I need to quickly, you know, grab it. And then under here, I just have some, you know, camera batteries as well. So if I quickly need to grab those, um, I'll just, you know, keep them there. And then, you know, under here is just the lens and cap uh, for the, my lens and camera. So which I'm currently using, so I'll just leave that there. So I actually know where it is and don't lose it. And then under here are just kind of the clear cases for my, you know, memory cards. Um, so I just kind of keep these here for when I do need to like only grab one or two. So instead of grabbing, you know, just all of them, 
that's just how you know I'll be able to grab a couple of them. And then so I have the ones for the SD cards, my XQD cards, and then here are kind of two old CF cards. So this one here, as you can see, that is 128 megabytes. And then this one is 16 megabytes. So I recently kind of came across an old digital um, camera and it's from like early 2000s. So it can't take, you know, super new or any like any like gigabyte cards at all. So I'm kind of have to use these super old cards in it. So I kind of just keep these here as well because, you know, there's not a lot of room on them. And so I don't have to go digging, you know, every time I kind of need to switch them out. And then under here, we have the XQD card reader for my XQD cards. Um, just keep it there because, you know, I'm using this all the time to kind of transfer stuff. Then again, the hard drive, just nice under there resting. And then here's the other kind of card reader that I have. So this is for SD, micro SD, and then the CF um, all to USB. So that just kind of remains under here because I still do use, you know, those different cards a lot. And then right here, we just have my little, you know, camera coaster. So... I'll kind of just put like a water bottle on here or my coffee when I'm drinking it so you know I don't stain my nice wood surface so you got to be you know, conscious of that um, and then back here I just have two chargers for you know my camera batteries I'm um, just you know kind of charge and again just to kind of know where they always are and then here I kind of just have this notebook um, on it you can see there's like little uh, cassette tapes um, so my parents gave me this for Christmas, so I thought, you know, why not, you know, use it, so keep it here. Um, haven't written much in it yet. Um, the only thing really in there is kind of, you kind of see the writing in there. But that's kind of just the schedule for the videos, so that's kind of the only thing in there so far. But that's kind of give you a nice cover that, yes, videos are still coming. Um, and then here is just the uh, remote for my little heater down there. Um, so I just kind of keep it on my desk so, you know, again, I always know where it is and kind of, you know, because this is where, you know, I mainly turn up the heat and stuff like that when I'm sitting here. So, so I don't have to get up and do it. Just leave it there. And then here's a sticky note. That's just my grocery list. So nothing really important there. Um, but yeah, that's kind of everything, you know, on the top of the desk. Um, like I mentioned, you know, very minimalistic, kind of just the things that I always kind of need the most is kind of what is just, you know, going to be on top here. Okay, so moving on to the great cable management down here. Um, first, you know, again, have my soccer ball here. It's kind of just, you know, rest my feet under, play around sometimes when, you know, I am bored. Um, but then under here, I have kind of two power strips. So those are just plugged into the wall, you know, directly behind it. Um, the reason I have two is because I have so many things plugged in that one is not enough. So this first one right here, um, that's just kind of all the computer stuff. So like both my monitors, the computer, um, my scanner. So those are all, you know, things that are plugged into that one there. And then this one over here, the other one, um, doesn't have as many things plugged in, but these are kind of just, you know, bigger plugs in general. Um, so I got, you know, the actual desk itself, because, you know, it is a standing desk, so there needs to be power to it. And then just things like my internet. And then also this thing over here which is a cloud storage. So this is a my cloud storage. It is an eight terabyte one. So this thing can, you know, wirelessly hold, you know, all of your files and stuff like that. So the reason I got this is because, you know, if I am ever traveling, you know, just kind of like around the world, so I have like a nice backup for, you know, just my hard drives. I kind of just do have, you know, eight gigabytes worth of files, you know, whenever I need them. So this thing, um, I really enjoyed having it so far, you know, it works perfectly well. Um, it's not, you know, going to be as fast as plugging in directly but this thing still does work really well and I did you know have um, bigger versions like a 16 I think maybe a 32 um, terabytes but you know 8 was perfectly enough for me because I'm still obviously going to use hard drives so there wasn't really a need to get more than 8 and then just the last thing down here is my uh, Xfinity Wi-Fi thing so you know the cloud thing is just plugged um, directly into the ethernet so I kind of just have them close together. So then over here right next to this desk is this is kind of, you know, cabinet that I have. Um, I got this thing off of Ikea. Um, so it's pretty simple um, and not, you know, the most durable or expensive wood. But, you know, this works perfectly fine for me. Um, so up top, um, I just have kind of my 
charge a thing, right charge all of my USB things because, you know, so many things are USB. So I kind of just have them all right there. So I don't have to go, you know, again, digging for cords. And then also I just have like a little phone charger there as well. Um, and then I have kind of like a little Allen key here. Um, just because, you know, a lot of things do, you know, take this. So again, so I don't have to go digging around for it. So it's just there. It does kind of blend in with the, you know, um, cabinet. But, you know, I know it's there. Um, and then we also have just a, uh, t the pen for my Wacom tablets for when I am editing on Photoshop. Um, and then I just have a little remote here. Um, that's to kind of power the, you know, blue light that's kind of, you know, um, lighting everything. Um, and then, you know, I do have uh, five drawers here. So they're just kind of, you know, more separated and organized by stuff. So kind of just like, you know, this first one here, just kind of things that I use a lot. So like, you know, the light meter, obviously when I'm shooting film, you know, microphone, um, you know, some like tripod, um, tabletop stuff for when I'm, you know, doing recording stuff on my desk. Um, and then, you know, just like L bracket stuff, a little, you know, wireless mouse. And then, you know, back there, if you can see, I just have a bunch of uh, high eight tapes back there. So kind of just, you know, organize things by like need them. And then, you know, obviously in the back, the tapes just, you know, so I can grab them. And then the second drawer here is kind of just my film stuff. So we got, you know, the air blower to kind of blow off, you know, dust, um, you know, some cotton swabs as well for dust, you know, tape, uh, kind of cleaner for the scanner, you know, negative holders, and then just, you know, archival stuff there. And then moving on to the third one. So this is where it gets a little bit deeper into the drawers. Um, so there's more room for stuff here. Um, but this is kind of just, you know, all the things that I need. Um, for whenever I do shoot a concert or a Sharks game. So kind of just, you know, like earplugs, um, you know, things to hold, you know, spare batteries, um, you know, extra charger for my phone, you know, just stuff like that. Um, capture clip, you know, put the phone on top of my camera, you know, filters here, and then just like camera straps, like a single one, a double one, and then just like generic Nikon one there as well. So this is kind of just, you know, like my professional <laughs> drawer, if you will say. Um, and then moving on underneath that, um, this one kind of gets random. So, you know, another phone charger down there, another, you know, cleaning cloth, um, you know, strap for my Pentax, um, a random disposable down here, then kind of just like a lot of GoPro stuff, so like a chest mount, um, you know, a lens mod, um, plug in to, you know, the microphone to the GoPro, and then just kind of a lot of like extra mounts and stuff back there. And then also just, you know, some flashlights in case there is ever a power outage and I can't see. And then last drawer at the bottom here, um, you know, some more random stuff as well. <laughs> some spare face masks down there, um, some gum, the kind of spare blades to my drone, um, you know, a pen, a uh, big bag of batteries because you can never have too many batteries. And then just like a bunch of command strips, like put things up on the wall. Um, so, you know, just more random stuff in there, but that's why everything there is kind of in the bottom. And then the last thing here is just this little kind of white, um, you know, thing. Um, I did have this, you know, in the old room as well. So I thought, you know, might as well just keep it because it does hold a lot of, you know, small things. So just like two notebooks here for like, you know, video ideas and, you know, just, you know, planning out stuff just like that. And then I have just kind of some clips here. Um, and then in here, it's kind of just like a bunch of small stuff, so like receipts, punch cards, you know, uh, flash drive, um, things to, you know, read SD cards, windscreen, headphones, you know, so just a bunch of small, you know, random stuff that, you know, would easily get lost if I just had them kind of loose in here, so that's kind of just why they're in here. Um, and then this one is just kind of more of a jewelry drawer, so, you know, nothing really important in there. And then this last one here. It's kind of just, you know, bigger stuff, but still, you know, too small to, you know, probably put in that drawer. So, like, deck of cards, a wallet, you know, Leatherman, um, sticker, a pen, some hand sanitizer, uh, another knife back there. Um, so, you know, just more, you know, small stuff that, you know, sometimes I'll use. So, um, you know, if I do, you know, need it at my desk, you know, I can easily just, you know, roll over here and grab it. Um, and then speaking of roll over, kind of the last important thing here is just uh, my chair. So right here, if we can do this. So this is just the chair. So this is an S Racer um, gaming chair. Um, again, I got this off of Amazon. 
Um, so this is kind of just nice because it does have, you know, a neck pillow up here and then one for my, you know, back as well. So, you know, it's comfortable. You know, I am sitting up straight the whole time, you know, no slouch or anything like that. So, so far this has been working fine. So it is just nice, you know, having a, you know, more comfortable chair to sit in for long periods of time. And, you know, it's black. So again, it kind of matches with everything as well. All right, so that was my setup. Um, you know, with moving into a new space, obviously, you know, you're gonna have a different setup. Um, but for the most part, it's, you know, pretty much stuck to, you know, similar to what I had, you know, last year. Obviously, probably the main biggest thing is just probably gonna be, you know, the standing desk. Um, but, you know, like I did mention, this is a pretty, you know, minimalistic setup. The only things I really have are the things that I need or kind of just need quick access to. Um, you know, there's nothing really there, kind of just for aesthetic reasons. I mean, maybe the mints, but those are just mints, so not really aesthetically pleasing there. Um, you know, it is just, you know, pretty simple setup. You know, it works best, for, it works for me. You know, that's kind of all that really matters in a setup. Um, but, you know, hopefully, you know, maybe you got some inspiration from something that I use. Um, so, you know, I will try and put, you know, as many links as I can in the description down below. Um, but, you know, other than that, you know, just a pretty, you know, nice and simple setup. I don't really see anything probably going to be changing throughout the year. So, you know, definitely going to be sticking with this, um, which I think, you know, it's going to work out for me, which is kind of, you know, the most important thing in a setup as well.